Hello everyone, um, this is the M in Geismic, the Idealist Code of Universal Ethics. Modesty. Modesty, I believe, should be practiced more in our society at large, and personally, the reason I came up with the idea of modesty in my Idealist Code of Universal Ethics is because... We either tend to put ourselves down too much and put each other down too much, or we go in the opposite extreme. We worship the ground people walk on. We uh, think they're larger than life. We uh, might pay them very high compliments. We might hear very high compliments. And experts might even call that love bombing. If you're dealing with someone uh, who has a serious uh, psychological issue or emotional issue, uh, cluster B, if you will, um, or behavioral issue. And, um, I, uh, have trouble taking compliments because, uh, I don't want them to go to my head. I don't want, uh, I don't want to believe that I'm better than anyone and I don't want to believe that I'm worse than anyone. So, uh, modesty there's a saying, I think I'm going to have to look it up because I'm not sure what, um, I'm not sure I remember it word for word, but there's something in the Bible about, um, someone going to a broom brush and saying in so many words, I'm done. I'm not worthy. Uh, take my life. I'm not worthy. And an angel comes along and wakes him up and says, um, or something, or, he, or an angel, uh, he wakes up and there's like bread and water, uh, beside him. And someone says to him, um, eat and drink and he eats and drinks. And, uh, I think he goes to sleep. I don't, I don't remember. I don't, I don't have the passages in front of me right now. Um, I'm going to have to hit the pause button and, uh, go and look it up. Hold on a second. Okay. My browser is taking a little while to, uh, come up. All right. Hold on a second. I believe he was running from Jezebel and, um, she had scared him so much that he had given up. And, uh, I guess that's called humbling, you know, feeling humbled. But in our, uh, society, we go, we go to the extremes. We either want to break each other or break ourselves down, or we want to build ourselves or each other up so that we're on pedestals. Um, I'm still having trouble finding it. Hold on a second. Okay, it has to do with Jezebel sent a message to Elijah saying, so may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life like the one... Let's see, let, I scrambled it. The words are kind of running together. Let me start over. Then Jezebel sent a message to Elijah, saying, So may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life like the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid. Elijah was afraid. He got up and fled for his life and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah. He left his servant there. It's about Elijah fleeing from Jezebel. Okay, uh, he was afraid when he got her message and he ran. He ran. Um, so, um... I'm trying to find the part where, um, where he says he gave up, where he, um, I'm trying to find that. I'm having trouble finding that, that part. Um, hold on a second, because I don't, I don't want anybody coming on here and saying I'm wrong. Hold on a second. I think I found something. He looked around and there by his head was a cake of bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Now, if you 
if you know God's love, if you know the angel's love, if you know the higher love, God knows who you are. If you don't know who you are yet, if you, um, if you are, um, if you think you're a really bad, horrible person, God knows better. If you think you're a perfect person, if you're the best thing since sliced bread, God knows better. So, um, the modesty thing, um, if someone flatters you, don't take it too literally. If someone puts you down, don't take it too literally. If you feel bad about yourself, or if you feel flattered, it might be flattery. Higher love is real love. Listen to God's voice. Not necessarily your own. And you'll find it if you're quiet enough. Don't keep listening to other people's voices around you. And don't flatter people either. Romantic love, um, even romantic love, uh, um, I want to call it bonding love. Um, the kind of love that, that, uh, draws people together to reproduce and to bond, to have, uh, intimate relations. Um, it can feel romantic. It can feel wonderful. It can feel idyllic. Um, you meet someone who, who you think wears perfect clothes and you think they're a god. Thou shalt not worship false gods. And thou shalt not worship, you shouldn't worship yourself either. Um, modesty is a realistic view of yourself and others. God had a realistic view of, of uh, Elijah. Now, excuse me, I had to look it up. It wasn't Isaiah, it was Elijah. God had had a real view of Elijah and he had a really, he was really scared of Jezebel. He was really scared of, I think how he saw himself too. So, um, you know, modesty in Geismic, the M for modesty is what it's about. Modesty is not putting yourself down. Modesty is not, uh, putting someone else down. It's or, or worshiping someone else and putting yourself down. Modesty is having a balanced, realistic view of yourself. Whether you uh, whether you uh, pray to God for it, whether you go within and uh, seek it yourself, or look it up, or do research on how to uh, how to love yourself realistically instead of romantically, or uh, with pity, with self pity, whatever it is. We have to do it in a realistic way, and we have to do it the way, the way uh, I think God would have us do it. All right, be safe, everyone. Modesty.